Today, we're going to learn how to calculate straight line depreciation in Microsoft Excel. Straight line depreciation is one of the more simple methods of depreciation in accounting, uh, particularly because the depreciation expense is the same each year. So let's say, for example, that many years ago you purchased a vehicle for $25,000. So that's your original cost of this asset. So let's go ahead and type in $25,000 here under original cost. And the salvage value is the amount you could sell it for today. So if you could sell your vehicle today uh, for $5,000, that would be your salvage value. And let's say, uh, for example, that the useful life of this vehicle was five years. So because the useful life is five years, let's list five periods. One, two, three, four, five. And let's go ahead and calculate the depreciation expense. So let's begin with a formula by pressing the equal sign. Let's open up a parenthesis pick our original cost, subtract our salvage value, close our parenthesis, and divide this by our useful life. Our depreciation expense each year is going to be $4,000. The book value at the start of year one is going to be the original cost of the asset. So in this case, that's going to be $25,000. The accumulated depreciation for year one is the depreciation expense, simply because that's the only depreciation which has accumulated so far. And the book value at the end of year one is the $25,000. Subtract the depreciation expense for that first year, and we have $21,000. And the book value at the start of each year after the first year is going to be the same as the book value of the end of the previous year. So the book value at the start of year two is $21,000. The accumulated depreciation is all of the depreciation which has accumulated so far. So we have the $4,000 from year one, the $4,000 from year two, which gives us $8,000. And the book value at the end of year two is the $21,000 subtract the depreciation expense for year two, which is $17,000. The $17,000 is going to be the book value at the start of year three. The accumulated depreciation is the $8,000 plus the $4,000. And the book value at the end is the $17,000 minus the four thousand dollars and again this thirteen thousand dollars here is going to be the book value at the start of my fourth year the accumulated depreciation is going to be the twelve thousand plus the four thousand and the book value at the end of year four is going to be thirteen thousand minus the four thousand the book value at the start of year five is $9,000. You're going to take the $16,000 for your accumulated depreciation, add the $4,000. We have $20,000, and the book value should be the $9,000. Subtract your depreciation expense, which is $4,000, and the book value at the end of year five, which is $5,000, should match your salvage value. 